Hello everyone. Hope everybody's doing fine. Um, I just thought that maybe I would do a little video on uh, one of Einstein's mind trips or thought experiments or whatever you want to call it. So the uh, the thing about time or the speed of light, not time. The thing about the speed of light is that it's not really constant. As far as we're concerned, it is constant. As far as we're concerned, time is fairly constant. Distance is pretty constant. I mean, if you figure, you look at how much the gravitational waves change distance, it's not very much. And then, of course, the time is change isn't very much where we are, except for when you're calculating GPS and speeds of you know high speeds of satellites and stuff like that. It does make a difference, and you have to calculate for the differences in time. But generally speaking, it's not going to make that much difference. But if you're talking about the universe, then that's a different story. The speed of light is not constant in the universe. It's constant to its particular frame of reference and only to that frame of reference. As soon as you change the the distance, the measure of distance or the measure of time, then your speed of light is not going to be the same speed relative to another frame of reference. It's only constant in that frame of reference. So, for example, if you take uh, 186,000 miles and you put it near a black hole and it shrinks down to, say, an inch or so, or a mile or whatever, that distance, 186,000 miles, is, is going to be shrunk to a mile so that speed of that frame of reference is also going to slow down and the distance the time it takes for light to travel 186,000 miles is the same as it would take for light to travel that mile or that inch in that frame of reference so it light is slowed down very much by the frame of reference that it's in. So, for example, that's why you probably can't see into a black hole because it's too far and time is too slow for us to see the light reaching us. Now, if one day we start seeing light from a black hole, that would kind of prove that... that um, you know, the earth is not that old, <laughs> really. <laughs> but anyways, um, you can you can st still see your things around near, close to black hole, though, that are affected by it. But at time, when whenever you have time and uh, distance changing, you're not going to have the same rate of the speed of light. It's going to slow down relative to us. So another thing I wanted to get in here is just a little biological thing. Um, the A lot of people seem to think that evolution happens because of change over time. And if you change a given genome enough, it's going to, over time, become another kind of life form. But the problem is that there's a lot of information that it would need to have to become something else, something different than what it is. And that information is not there and there's no way to make information. For example, there's no way to make information to make a feather. There's no way to make information to make um, different structures and functions and stuff like that. 
And if the, ma if the information is not there, if the information's in the genome, fine. You can take it, you can use it, whatever. But there's a lot of information within the genome between different kinds of animals that there's there's no way to get there from here or here from there. And there's no, I mean, there's just no way to, uh, because each living organism has its own unique set of information that is unique to what it is so that it can't be anything else. It can only be what it is. And it can't find information that other living organisms have that is unique to those organisms that otherwise there would be no evolution. Because you can warp something or change it, you know, it's going to, there's going to be limits because of the viability and the practical, you know, this, what's practical and what's viable. But you're not, you're not going to get extreme uh, changes or differences other than what's already there. And that's what the problem is. Even between apes and humans, there's a lot of information that's unique to what each thing is. And a lot of people say, well, you are an ape. Yeah, well, if you, uh, if you don't tell the truth, you're as good as an animal. So I'll leave it at that.